Hey, good morning. Welcome back. We are studying in 1 Samuel chapter 4, and today the big long rendition of the, the big battle between the Hebrews and the Philistines, which takes all of two verses, and that's 1 Samuel chapter 4, verses 10 and 11. Let's read it, then we'll think about it together. So here's our story. The Israelites went to battle against the Philistines. They were defeated. Thousands fell. They were trying to analyze what went wrong, and they said, well, let's just do this. Let's bring the ark into the battle with us, and then we'll win for sure. So they brought the ark up into the battle. God never asked them to do that. And now when the Philistines heard about it, they got very nervous and very excited and said, we're going to fight for all we're worth. And now we're going to get the big, long rendition of the battle and, uh, you know, many pages of terrible, uh, large, well, no, it's just two verses. Um, let's look at it in verses 10 and 11. So the Philistines fought and Israel was defeated and every man fled to his tent. There was a very great slaughter and there fell of Israel 30,000 foot soldiers and also the ark of God was captured and the two sons of Eli, Hophni and Phinehas died. Okay, here's our long, uh, long uh, description of the battle, and it's just one line. So the Philistines fought, and Israel was defeated. Boom. So there's no record here of a big battle or any maneuvers. This thing was over before it began. Because why was this over before it began? Because God's people were in the wrong. They were doing the wrong stuff. They were acting presumptuously. God had not commanded them to bring the ark up and march around with it. And he had not commanded that Hophni and Phinehas, two of the most immoral people in all of Israel, uh, to come along with the ark and uh, parade around with it. So here's a, a, just a complete defeat. 4,000 in the first hit, 30,000 this time. Uh, not only that, but now the Ark of the Covenant has been taken away. It's like the end of everything. This is the end. They've, they've defeated Israel. We've got uh, tens of thousands in the army dead, and they've got the Ark of God. So a total. this is a total zero, total fail, because God's people acted presumptuously. They went ahead of him. They were in the sparks of their own kindling. And uh, what was the result? This, this extraordinary disaster. So friends, what, what can we learn from this? Do we ever get ahead of the Lord? Do we ever think we have a brilliant plan and we'd leap out there and just do it? I mean, there's certainly a risk of being too quiet, too slow, too slow to act, and we have too many committee meetings and we take too long to get to something. And finally, by the time we do something, we're sort of like behind already because it should have been done a long time ago. There's that problem. But there's another problem too, which is acting too fast, getting ahead of the Lord. Many times God wants us to be still and quiet and listen and pay close attention and get into the right frame of mind so that we can actually think spiritually. A lot of times we're not doing that and we get ahead of him and the result for his people, disaster. So we want to learn from this, this giant battle. The old Philistines fought and Israel was defeated and pff, well, there it is, giant fail. We don't need to have these giant fails. What we want to do is have giant faithfulness and God will be our leader, and he'll see us through. So friends, let's find a way to be right and to trust him. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, not a very long study this morning because you left us no record of, of glorious battle. You left us a record of ignominious defeat, just a straight-out defeat. This thing was over before it began. You were not protecting your people. They were without you in the battle and the Philistines were highly animated, and of course, they fought for all they were worth. So a giant failure because your people weren't right. Didn't have to happen, Lord. Help us to not get behind you. Help us to not get ahead of you. Help us to not act out at an unfaithful position as the Israelites did by bringing the ark into the battle without your instruction to do so. Help us to be right. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayers and helping us to be your people. We are so easily uh, confused or make the wrong decision. Please, Lord, help us to slow down and make sure that you are leading. In Jesus' name we ask, amen. So God be with you today and bless you in all that you do. And make sure, first of all, though, as you begin your day, that God is leading.